Give it up for Denise, y'all. Give it up. Yeah. All right, time for the black history portion of the show. Don't you guys know not to put a couch on the stage with a black dude? I might fall asleep on this thing right here, man. For real, man. Now, I'm married, dude. Been married for 20 years in the game. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, don't laugh at me. Give it up, dude. Yeah. I don't cheat. I'm a horrible liar. <laughs> if you're a horrible liar, cheating is worthless. You're gonna get caught. It's not that I'm holier than thou. It's just that I don't remember the lies that I say. <laughs> like, I won't forget where I was. I just don't remember where I said I was. <laughs> There's a difference, right? It ain't just me, though. My wife, she got problems, too. Uh-huh, yeah, I like that chuckle. She a, uh, she a shopaholic, yeah, uh-huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see some shopaholics in here. Man, I didn't realize it at first, right? Being married for 20 years, you slowly see things happen. One time I walked in the room, I looked in the closet, and she had so much stuff in the closet that the wooden bar in there was bending like a motherfucker. It looked like a fat ass bottom lip, just hanging. <laughs> These are clues, right? These are clues. I thought she was cheating on me. Two nights a week, she was leaving the house at 9.30 at night. Where the hell are you going at 9.30? I'm talking about I'm running errands. No, the bank is closed. The phone company is closed. Where are you going? Now look, I ain't no follow you type guy, right? I'm not, that's not my get down. But if you leave the house twice a week, at 9.30 at night, eventually I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> Damn, what can I do, right? So I'm following her. She's going out the house like a bat out of hell. She's running all these yellow lights, which means I'm running red lights. <laughs> while I'm following you. That's not cool. So I'm following her, right? I think she's gonna pull up into some dude's driveway or to some club. No. She pulled into the TJ Maxx parking lot. I said, damn, she fucking somebody from TJ Maxx? Oh. This one better be the manager. At least in the management trainee program. Don't be fucking no stock dude. So I get out the car. I'm like, damn. I get out the car, follow her, step up to the window and look in, and she's actually in there shopping. And she ain't the only one. You go shopping at 9.30 at night, on a weeknight, twice a week, you've got a problem. So when she got home, I said, you know what? This has got to stop. You got to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to leave here for an hour, come back. I better see some piles of clothes on the floor right here, right now. I leave, come back. She had three trash bags worth of stuff. First, I had to check to make sure it wasn't my shit in them bags. <laughs> but once I verified that, I was impressed. You know, look at them. You, <laughs> You gave away your husband's stuff? That's what happened, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I was impressed. I was like, baby, you listening to me. I see this is a marriage. You love me. That's why this is special. I take the stuff to Goodwill, come back, look at the closet, and it looked the same. I said, damn, are your clothes growing organically in this one? Are they fucking in here? What's happening? And then I found out a profound thing that this thing that ladies do is they buy stuff in the off season for super cheap and hide that shit somewhere. <laughs> and then six months later, when it's time to wear it, they bust it out. And you be like, well, damn, where you get that shit? Oh, man, I've been had this, man. You ain't seen this before? This is old, man. I got this like 
like six months ago and shit, man. You don't watch me. You don't look at me. See, that's what the problem is in this relationship. Man, I go, well, damn, baby, damn. Well, why still got tags on it and shit? I look at the tag. She had on some nice J, J. Crew khaki pants that cost a hundred dollars. It was marked down at nine ninety nine. I was impressed. I was like, damn, why you didn't give me nothing? <laughs> Damn, why you in there? <laughs> now, nah, anyway, I think I got the lights in it. All right, man, I'm out, y'all. I'm Mike Robinson. Yeah.